This is where tech meets gastronomy. Fans dance with projected patterns, while robots pause through every corner. First-time visitors can't help but be stunned. Wow! Look at you. This dinosaur shell, the robot dog, really surprises me. For a heartbeat, I felt like I transported back to the Jurassic Park. Wow! And its sensor is right here. Actually, that's his, you know, real eyes. It's it's amazing. I mean, uh, well, we use the AI, but it's just like on the mobile. But it's a totally different experience when you have this AI inside the robot and talk to it. It feels more like. More natural. It feels like a science center. I see a lot of kids. Uh, I think it's a great place to promote your uh, this uh, STEM or STEAM, uh, and I think it's also a, a great way to uh, help. I think people to uh, be understand about robotics, be more comfortable with robotics, and also to uh, start. I think using robotics. We hope to turn it into a real place for application testing. We、we'll、welcome all kinds of robots to come to our space to capture data, conduct application tests, and apply their mature products to daily life. Such application scenarios opened during the 2025 World Robot Conference, and for the first time, the Hong Kong SCR sent a delegation. This time, we brought more than 20 people with us, including people from academia, business circles, some entrepreneurs, and some CEOs of foreign companies. They all hope to have more cooperation with mainland robot companies and stand ready to bridge global expansion. Now, the restaurant reveals a gap between imagination and reality. Human hands still handle most of meal preparation. While、well, here in a restaurant, robots shining performances,、um, entertainment, assisting with simple tasks like drink sampling or food delivery, true automation remains on the horizon. But they are pushing forward. Zaxin, CGTN, Beijing.